In the headlines today, just two minutes an hour, activity reduces lymphoma and less atrial fib. Trading two minutes of sitting for two minutes of walking every hour may reduce the risk of dying by 33%. Previous studies show that extended sitting doubles the risk of type 2 diabetes and increases the risk of heart disease, cancer and premature death. So if you have a sedentary job, how much activity is protective? Well, for three years, over 3,000 participants in the US NHANES survey wore devices to measure intensity and frequency of activity. Researchers compared sitting, standing and light activity, and they found that short bursts of light activity such as walking, cleaning and gardening was associated with a 33% lower risk of premature death than those who spent more than half their waking hours sitting down. So why not set a reminder on your phone each hour to get up and move around? A lifetime of vigorous exercise may lower the risk of non-Hodgkin's lymphoma by 30%. Non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, or NHL for short, is a form of cancer that affects the lymph nodes. Researchers from the University of British Columbia, Canada, studied more than 800 men with NHL and age-matched them with men without NHL. They then compared self-recorded levels of physical activity in each decade of life. Men who had done the most vigorous activity were much less likely to have NHL than those who were the least active. Can you recall when you last engaged in vigorous activity that took your breath away? Being physically fit reduces the risk of atrial fibrillation, or AF for short, especially in obese individuals according to a new study. It's known that poor cardiorespiratory fitness is a risk factor for cardiovascular disease and death. So researchers set about measuring the impact of regular physical activity on AF. They measured the physical fitness of almost 65,000 adults, none of whom had AF. Several years later, 7% had developed it. The more fit were less likely to be affected, and this held true especially for the obese. It's good to know that when you get benefit from being fit, you also get it, even though you're fat. I'm Dr. Nerida McKibben, and that's today's health news.